The PolyGuard RD6 coating system is a non-shielding, anti-corrosion system used on buried and submerged line pipes for rehabilitation and new construction girth welds. RD6 consists of a liquid adhesive, a geotextile-backed protective pipeline coating, and an outer wrap. Application using the wrapster is recommended to ensure the coating is installed under high tension. Step 1. Surface Preparation Before applying RD6, SSPC SV1 solvent cleaning is recommended to provide a clean, contaminant-free surface. Suggested solvents include MEK, toluene, acetone, or isopropyl alcohol. After solvent cleaning, minimum surface preparation of SSPC SP2 is required unless the operator specifies an abrasive blast requirement. Loose scale, rust, and other foreign matter must be removed. A polished surface should be avoided if power tools are used in the cleaning process to ensure proper coating adhesion. The substrate shall be at least 5 degrees Fahrenheit, 3 degrees Celsius, above the dew point temperature before and during the application process. Preheating of the pipe may be required to meet these conditions. The optimum surface temperature is 70 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature details can be found on PolyGuard's website in the RD6 Coating System Application Specification. Step 2. Applying Liquid Adhesive Once all surface preparations and temperature requirements have been met, preheating the application area may be needed to ensure proper temperatures are met. Feather the edge of the mainline coatings where the RD6 will be applied using a sanding disc, sanding paper, or brush blasting. Do not thin liquid adhesive and stir or shake liquid adhesive for 30 to 60 seconds before using. Apply a thin, even coat of liquid adhesive with a brush or roller to a clean and dry substrate, extending the adhesive beyond the leading and trailing edges of the RD6 coating. Allow the liquid adhesive to dry to a slightly tacky state before the application of RD6. Step 3. RD6 Application Tension must be used when applying RD6 onto the prime surface which is why it is recommended to apply RD6 using a PolyGuard approved machine such as the Rapster. The coating is spirally wrapped with the compound side applied directly onto the dry, slightly tacky liquid adhesive. Begin and end the application of RD6 at the 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock position, ending at the 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock position such that the leading and trailing ends are facing down. If cradles will be used on the pipeline, the RD6 is to be wrapped spirally in the direction of the trailing edge to the leading edge. For details about proper installation over welds, refer to the RD6 application specification on polyguard.com. Step 4. SP6 Outer Wrap Application When pipe diameters are 4 inches or greater, SP6 Outer Wrap is recommended. RD6 Outer Wrap should extend past the RD6 a minimum of one inch onto the mainline coating at each end and is applied spirally with a minimum of a one inch overlap. Begin the application of SP6 outer wrap at the three o'clock or nine o'clock position and end at the nine or three o'clock position so that the leading and trailing ends are facing down. Apply with enough tension to achieve a smooth surface while covering the entire section of RD6 coating. Wrap enough half inch to one inch or 13 to 25 millimeter wide fiber reinforced packing tape around each end of the applied SP6 outer wrap to hold it in place during cradling and backfilling. If cradles will be used on the pipeline, then the SP6 is to be wrapped spirally in the direction of the trailing edge to the leading edge with rock shield tape on the very outside edge of the SP6. Step 5. Inspection and Repair Before lowering, inspect the pipe with a holiday detector to ensure proper application. All holidays and damaged or defective coating shall be repaired immediately. When inspecting RD6 without an outer wrap, PolyGuard recommends setting the holiday detector at 4,000 volts for a single layer application of RD6 and 8,000 volts when applied with a 50% overlap. If a holiday is detected after the application of SP6 outer wrap, 
increasing the voltage by 2000 volts for each layer of outer wrap is recommended. For detailed repair instructions, refer to the RD6 application specification that can be found on polyguard.com.